The whereabouts of Duchess of Cambridge have become a global focal point for those who love to follow celebrity news. The most recent update comes from The Sun in the UK, which reported on the 18th that the long-absent Duchess of Cambridge was spotted. She made an appearance at a farm shop in Windsor on the 16th, shopping in the store. Ah! Does this mean that Duchess of Cambridge is actually doing well and there are no security concerns? An eyewitness stated that on the morning of the 16th, they encountered Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William shopping in a store at Windsor Farm. The eyewitness described Duchess of Cambridge as looking very healthy and happy. The couple was accompanied by their three children, who were only in the area to participate in sports activities and did not accompany their parents shopping in the store. To substantiate their claim, the informant shared several related photos. However, these were all seen photos, including ones of a small garden, inside the shopping center, and outside the shopping center, but none of Kate and William directly. It's unclear if this was out of respect for the couple's privacy, a missed opportunity to take photos, or if the encounter never happened. Without photos of the individuals themselves, the veracity of the Sun's report is in question. According to a report from the Sunday Times, a mainstream UK media outlet, close friends and assistants of Kate and William have revealed that Kate will resume public engagements next month and share updates about her health with the public. Additionally, to make amends for a previous Photoshop incident, they plan to release a new family photo on April 23rd. March 17th is a traditional local festival in the UK, and Duchess of Cambridge typically attends related events. However, she did not appear at this year's event. The royal family explained that she would return to public engagements after Easter, on March 31st. From March 22nd, the Cambridge family began their Easter holiday, which will last for three weeks, with the children returning to school on April 17th. Although the royal family has stated that Kate will make public appearances after Easter, when she will truly return to the public eye remains uncertain. Kate's last public appearance was last Christmas. In January of this year, she underwent abdominal surgery and has been recuperating in a private hospital in London. Since then, she has not made any public appearances and has also experienced an embarrassing Photoshop incident. Regarding her post-surgery real-life condition, public reports indicate she has been recovering and keeping busy with taking her children to school and even cooking for her family, leaving little time to address public inquiries. To protect her children as much as possible, she has remained silent on these matters. For William, there is a concern that Kate might relive the experiences of his mother, Diana. William was just 15 years old when he went through his parents' divorce and the death of his mother, Diana. William does not want his children to go through similar experiences. As March comes to a close, April has swiftly arrived, and netizens, upon seeing the latest reports, express their hopes that she is truly alright, wishing her and her children peace and safety. Since King Charles announced his cancer diagnosis, chaos has ensued within the royal family. Firstly, Harry's proposal to resume his official duties during his visit to his father was rejected, with William opposing his brother's return and refusing to meet him, secondly, rumors about the Duchess of Cambridge's worsening condition and cancer diagnosis spread after she did not make public appearances following her surgery. According to foreign media, the royal family held a memorial service on February 27 for the late King Constantine II of Greece. Prince William, initially scheduled to attend, abruptly cancelled his plans, fueling speculation about Kate's health condition. On February 29, British time, the royal family issued a statement denying the rumors about Kate, stating that she is doing well and it was clear from the beginning that she would not appear until after Easter. In other words, Kate will be out of the public eye for another month to recuperate. It is reported that 42-year-old Kate was hospitalized in January for abdominal surgery, at the same time Charles was also admitted for prostate surgery. Upon their discharge, it was revealed by doctors that Charles had been diagnosed with cancer, though the type of cancer was not disclosed. Kate has remained silent, not making any public appearances or statements. Following his cancer diagnosis, Charles announced he would be taking a break from his duties, which were supposed to be handled by William, the heir apparent. However, William has cancelled a significant number of engagements, choosing instead to keep a low profile and care for his family, while also remaining silent about Kate's health condition. This has led to widespread speculation. The late King of Greece was William's godfather, 
and his last-minute cancellation of plans to attend the memorial service has sparked numerous rumors. On the day of the service, Camilla and Prince Andrew were present, among others. At the service, the king and the first, second, and third in line to the throne were all absent, with Prince Harry, who had once aspired to return to royal duties, regrettably refused by his family. It is evident that if Kate and William do not recover, the royal authority might shift, with Camilla emerging as the ultimate winner. It is intriguing that the royal family only mentioned Kate is doing very well in her recovery plan, without providing any details about the progress of her condition. They also stated that Kate wished to keep her personal information private following her surgery. Her last public appearance was during Christmas 2023, where she appeared to be in good shape. Half a month ago, there were rumors that Kate laid a wreath at the Whitehall Cenotaph in London, looking frail and thin, but this was not confirmed by the royal family. Kate, born in 1982, does not come from a particularly privileged background. Her parents were employees of British Airways, making theirs a middle-class family that was neither wealthy nor poor. However, her parents aspired to move up in society, sending all three of their children to elite schools designed to cultivate ladies and gentlemen. At this elite school, Kate not only became a lady who met the standards of high society but also truly embodied the spirit of nobility, as evident from her conduct after becoming the Duchess. Her excellent academic performance and athletic prowess indicate her high intelligence and physical capability breaking the school's high jump record, winning trophies in swimming, and excelling in skiing, basketball, and hockey as well. Such a campus belle is indeed the ideal daughter-in-law candidate in the eyes of true Chinese elite families. With excellent physical fitness and intelligence, their offspring are bound to have superior genes. For instance, Guo Jingjing, who was long ago favored by the Hua family. It is said that at the age of 13, she had already adorned her bedroom with posters of princes. This could be seen as a little girl's admiration for princes, but her cunning became apparent when she applied for universities after graduating from high school. In 2000, Kate received an acceptance letter from her dream university, the University of Edinburgh, but she gave it up and went to work in Chile for a year instead. Prince William, who was of the same age as Kate, also chose not to attend university that year but to undergo military training in the British Army before volunteering in Chile. At that time, the global media's focus was solely on the prince cleaning toilets, and nobody noticed a girl in the corner deliberately choosing the same path as the prince. In 2001, Prince William went to study at the University of St. Andrews. Kate also appeared at the University of St. Andrews that year, becoming a classmate of William in the art history department. Chance encounters during morning runs, participating in outdoor activities together, helping the prince choose and schedule his classes, dancing with him, Kate's proactive attraction strategies worked. What truly won her the prince was a fashion show. William bought a VIP seat, and Kate walked the runway in a sheer dress, showcasing her athletic physique to tell the prince his money was well spent. After that 2002 fashion show, Kate became the prince's new girlfriend, and simultaneously the subject of frenzied British media coverage. However, Kate's romance was bittersweet, she had to tolerate the prince's bad temper and the cold treatment in public. In 2004, the prince told her he wanted more personal space, and she wisely kept her distance. To her surprise, the prince quickly fell for a nobleman's daughter, Isabella, who, however, was not interested in him. After hitting a dead end, the prince uncommonly revisited his past and sought out Kate again. Kate, who had stayed, merely asked the prince to swear never to engage with Isabella again, humbly. In 2007, Kate was broken up with once more. The prince was enjoying life in the army, along with the company of various beauties. Thinking their five-year relationship could have advanced to a royal marriage, Kate refused to lower her head this time. She became a regular at bars and parties, dressing as revealingly as possible. She even participated in a rowing fundraiser organized by a woman from a high-end leisure establishment. Then, William revisited his past for the second time. In 2010, after a three-month trial marriage, William proposed to Kate with his mother's sapphire ring. In 2011, the commoner Kate became a duchess. Over ten years, she did one thing, she waited. Tabloid journalists once mocked her as, waiting Kate. From 2001 to 2011, socializing, 
partying, and hanging out at bars were her daily routine, she had never worked a day in her life. Kate's mother once boldly stated that her daughter didn't need to work. The implication was that even if she couldn't snag a prince, she should at least land a true nobleman, they had this confidence. However, Kate, who became the Duchess of Cambridge, is no longer the social butterfly she used to be. While fulfilling her duties as the Duchess alongside the prince multiple times, she never forgets to pay tribute to her mother-in-law, Diana. Whether it's wearing her jewelry or donning clothes similar to hers, or even replicating the late princess's style entirely. This effortlessly endears her to the public while firmly capturing Prince William's heart. After giving birth to two little princes and a princess, she followed in her mother-in-law's footsteps even more closely, taking a hands-on approach to raising her children and growing with them. This tactic has only tightened her grip on her husband, as what William lacked the most was the warmth and affection from his parents. She has managed her small family well, as well as the larger royal family, applying her noble school education effectively. Despite having a formidable mother-in-law and hostile counterparts within the royal family, Kate always manages to avoid direct confrontations, remaining neither too humble nor too arrogant. When it was Camilla's turn to receive her curtsy, she didn't look down upon her. Even when Camilla became the queen consort, Kate would curtsy as required, but she wouldn't let herself be dominated. Confronting issues head-on is a fool's errand, but Kate managed to subtly replace the coronation's band crown with a floral crown that held more royal significance. The most challenging period in her life as a duchess was undoubtedly the discomfort caused by Rose's imposition. She was rumored to be Prince William's mistress. It was said that this Valentine's Day, William left Kate to specifically go on a date with her. All of this is still uncertain. With some time left until mid-April, Let's wait patiently and hope for her healthy return.